Hello. I think we're live. Yep. Well, welcome everybody. We have another uh, match in the Yale Solo Duo Tournament. My name's Pykel, and uh, this is Ariel. <laughs> yep. We are joining the action live. Uh, it's a little dramatic effect. Very highbrow. It's just how Yale is. Uh, so we have the band starting already. Kiana's banned out. Um, I think they're banning Kiana because Min, uh, suffix, has been playing a lot of Kiana, even as support. So that would transfer easily to the mid lane. She's pretty busted right now. Kind of like a, a pog champ take over the entire game. Hecarim banned out. Just an overall strong pick. Really good with Ravenous Hydra right now. Yeah, also... Ari... Yeah, also the target ban onto Audrey um, from Vitamin C with the, the jungler with the Nunu ban. Um, and then so it looks like Guts will pick her second best uh, champ for her. So I'm only I'm only familiar with a few of the players in this game. I know Lance, who is Void Owl. I know Min, who is Suffix. And I know Archer Boy. I played Clash with them last night. And Archer Boy is Smurfin. Uh, so watch out for that. That's, that's not a good sign. Not a good sign for vitamin C. Uh, Ramus... What's that? Oh, no, you go, you go. Ramus was the first pick. Yeah. Ramus is a kind of a brain-dead champion. Uh, <laughs> not something you expect to see in a Yale match. But, at the same time, simplifying everything. Sometimes it's better for the team as a whole. Really good engage. Probably going turbo chem tank. So, as a first pick, if, if I see Ramus on the enemy team... Uh, I played Trundle in one of our games. That would have been a nice pick. Uh, the other thing you want to do is avoid picking um, uh, AP champs because you want to like make sure that Ramus is getting as little value as possible out of Turbo Chem Tank. Um, not sure if that's going to actually happen, though. Uh, and then we had Leona and Malphite as responses. Malphite is mostly AP, but... Not really the kind of damage that Ramus is worried about in the early game. And Amumu. So, Amumu is going to do pretty well against the Ramus specifically. Has good lockdown for Ezreal. Um, they changed Amumu's ultimate recently so that it's uh, a stun instead of a disarm and root or whatever it used to be. Um, so, a lot of CC coming from Vitamin C, which is smart. They're probably going to save last pick for Min uh, to get a good matchup in the mid lane. Also, I imagine the Leona Mumu ult combo will be really disgusting to deal with. Um, yeah, and Malphite too. Yeah. We almost saw a Yasuo ban from Vitamin C. We saw that yesterday Void Owl did really well with um, with um, the Yasuo, even though they did end up losing. Um, but in the end, they went with the Zac. Is that a Zac top lane that they're banning? Uh it? I don't know if that was intentional or not. Maybe that was a mistake. Because if, if you don't lock it in, it um, it randomizes. So that might have been a mistake. Oh, um, but we had a Yasuo ban now. Zach is banned. They already have Ramus. Uh, I mean, I guess theoretically it could be Ramus top. But it doesn't really matter. Uh, three, three champions were banned of Min's. Uh, the Echo is obviously a, a target ban at Lance. Yasuo is a target ban at Lance. Uh, Vane is for Archer Boy. I've seen that. He's a pretty he's a pretty good AD carry from what I saw yesterday. Um, so I think let's see what are the ranks of these players. I think the two mid laners are the highest rank on both sides. Yeah, they're both master level players. Min is a support on the solo duo ladder and actually hit Grandmaster this season. Good job, Min. <laughs> um, Lance hit master at the end of the season as well. Lance has been going between um, support jungle and mid because we needed we needed him to switch up for the the A team. But oh, um, it turns out the Renekton pick was actually supposed to be an Ash, um, so that will be the ADC for Team Vitamin C. Okay. Silas. Silas is a champion that um, Lance has played a decent amount, and it's a very good pick in this situation because we have Leona ultimate, Malphite ultimate, Amumu ultimate, um, ultimate, and even Ash ult. Yeah. All really great ults to steal. Uh, we'll be excited to see how uh, 
White Owl ends up using it. Yeah, the synergy is also very good on uh, on Guts right now. Yumi, Ramis, Yumi, Ezreal, Yumi, Silas, those are all very good combinations. Uh, Scion against Malphite, I think the Scion does technically win the matchup, but I don't expect either one to really get dominated in the landing phase unless there's a huge skill differential. Um, yeah, I feel like which... the Scion Malphite uh, top lane is kind of just like a farm it out, chill AFK top lane sort of vibe. Yeah. I think that's right. Um, so, I'd be pretty concerned if I was vitamin C. The The chances of getting a multiplayer ultimate seems pretty low if you're Malphite, Leona, um, even a Mumu. Because if, if you get onto the Ezreal, yes, you're going to be able to stun a Mumu. I mean, stun Ezreal. I don't know what the interaction is with Yumi. To I don't think she gets stunned uh, in that. Yeah, I don't think she gets stunned. Um, but I think she like W's off, her cooldown might be longer, but I'm not entirely sure as well. If anybody knows. Uh, so we're gonna we're gonna put you on the hot seat. So what do you think about the chances for each team? If if I if I asked you give me a percentage for each team, what would you say? Um honestly I feel like more maybe like sixty forty got vitamin C, just because I feel like Silent would be really hard. It's like a really hard front line to take down. Um, and if like Malphite goes like AP, I feel like I feel like uh Vitamin C has a lot of bursts, but like after that, maybe not as much sustained damage. Uh, what about you? Um, I think that Guts will probably win this game unless Min goes out of control on LeBlanc. I think that Ramus is going to be a big problem in the late game since Ash is going to be, like, the main damage dealer. So there's the difference in League of Legends between sustained damage and burst damage. Obviously, we have burst damage Malphite, burst damage from Amumu, and burst damage from the LeBlanc. You do you do have some sustained damage from Amumu because of his W, but I, I wouldn't expect him to do that much damage to Ezreal, mm -hmm. unless we see some kind of AP Amumu. So in team fights, I think if Ramus is able to get in onto the Ash, it's going to be pretty easy for them to team fight. Yeah, um, yeah. I feel like it, like they definitely have pick potential on the side of vitamin C, um, but it definitely will be hard to get through the guts front line. Someone says that they disagree and that Amumu has incredibly strong sustained damage with something I can't pronounce, Gaze and Sunfire, and can solo a ton of champs. Um... Yeah, I don't think that the team fights are really. Uh, it, you're you're not going to be able to stick really as a Mumu in this situation. We have hyper mobility from Ezreal and Silas. Like if you can do a lot of damage to the Scion or the or the Ramus, it's like okay, is that going to win your team the team fight? Probably not. I think that it's much more likely that Lance gets a good ultimate with an Amumu ult than a Mumu gets with an Amumu ult. Uh, from I mean partially because Lance is a very good player, but. <laughs> Um, it's, it is, it, it is different. Like most of the time when you see someone like Lance on the solo queue ladder or in like a ranked or in a competitive teams environment, the, he's, he's much more reserved in those kinds of situations. I'm not sure how he's taking this tournament. I don't know if it's super serious for him or if it's kind of just like a fun normal, but now that I say it out loud, I think that Lance just is probably going to take it serious. So... <laughs> Uh, I think, I think Lance wants to win. Uh, Min's definitely the more happy-go-lucky yeah. player in this lane. Yeah, I'm kind of curious if. So now we're going to go back through the pick fan phase. So just yeah. with what? Uh, I'm just kind of curious to see if Min will just like spend the time trying to pick people off. I guess that's what LeBlanc does. Never mind. Um, I wonder if he'll yeah, go like too the... far though. Um, I, I don't, honestly, I, when I play with Min, it's, Min knows how to take over a game. So if Min gets into a spot where she, uh, where LeBlanc has a small lead, I think they're going to be able to push that advantage very hard. Um, um, it, it is interesting that both of the master level players, grandmaster level players are in the mid lane because they're going to try to impact the side lane. 
But since they're up against one another, I don't know if... The, Aurelia. <laughs> they, they messed it up the first pick. Yeah. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> yeah, so before they were repicking everything, but um, they accidentally messed up the pick, so they'll be going through pick ban all over again um, in the league client. Big rip. Big rip. Um, okay, so let's see. Yeah. So I guess, like, based on the impressions, um, like, from this draft, um, I personally feel like top will be pretty AFK, and then I imagine it'll probably be maybe a little more even than mid lane. So between Ezra Yumi and um, Ash Leona, Leona, who would you say would win that? I think Ash Leona, right? Uh, it depends on how aggressive. Um, a lot of the time, when you have uh, lower elo players playing a matchup that should be going one way or the other, you're not necessarily going to have that played out the correct way. Mm -hmm. So you do have the engage advantage on Leona and Ash, but doesn't mean that they're going to use it. Uh, and and honestly, since it's Ezreal Yumi, I think that Chris is more than capable of staying staying away from a lot of SCC. Mm -hmm. So in the bot lane, Leona Ash will have the priority. They'll be shoving the way, probably able to get like a plate or two. Maybe they, maybe that's what their plan is is to just continuously dive bot lane. That would be a pretty good idea, I think. Uh, in the mid lane, Silas against LeBlanc. It just seems like a skill matchup to me. I could be wrong about that. I don't really play either of those champions very much. Yeah, because um, like Silas doing damage really depends on whether or not he gets a stun, right? So if LeBlanc can W out before that, um, doesn't she dodge most of the damage? Yeah, I think I, I think Lance is... It, it, it really is a, tr a tr true skill matchup, though, I think. So I could see Lance probably having wave priority, where he'll be able to step up, deal damage to the wave, make sure it's shoving, and then roam first. Um, that's probably what will happen. They're saying, <laughs> they're saying that I'm really loud for some reason. I, I don't have any control over that, I don't think. I can turn down my mic a little bit, maybe. Is that mic? I can turn down your volume in Discord. Maybe that's the move. Um, yeah. Is this better, guys? Let's see. I'm talking once again. Also, you should... um. Uh, yeah, it's better. Okay, good. Oh, great. We have Will. It's not a... Great. Not a Yale solo duo tournament if Will doesn't show up to talk in chat. He'll basically be a third caster in this, just casting it in the chat. Yeah. Always with the best opinions. Uh, so for those of you who don't know Will, uh, a few days ago, Will said, top lane dead. Uh, this game is doomed. And then yesterday he was saying, oh, wow, this is this is a great meta. I, I, now I know what all the uh, I know what all of the items do. I figured out a champion that works. He's playing Volibear. Whoever's playing against him in the future, ban Volibear. That's his uh that's, that's his good. main champion right now. Um and that's about it. Yeah, the uh, his other identity is Toxic Perma Band player. Ooh, ouch. Yikes. So take that as you will. Throw napkins into the ocean. Uh, so I, I was looking to see if there was like some big skill gap in any of the lanes, but it seems pretty even. Both of the top laners are gold. Um, the junglers are bronze and silver. So there is a difference there, but um, it's really going to be dependent on like how the team allows them to play it out. I don't think that I don't think that you can really take the classic approach to analyzing Ramus against a Mumu because <laughs> it seems like. In my in my head, I would think that Ramus has the advantage invading, um, and their ganks will be more powerful in the early game. 
but if you don't under if you don't know how to gank as Ramus, it's really not the easiest champion to gank on. Like it is fast and threatening, but doesn't always amount to much. So if you have Ramus charging into the top lane against Malphite, are you going to be able to kill Malphite in one gank? Maybe, probably not though. Unless Sion gets a lot of poke down. Ramus going into LeBlanc, I think Min will probably just avoid that altogether. And then if Ramus is going bot lane continuously, um, Ash isn't a mobile target, so every time that they burn Flash, um, that becomes a good target. But like I said, it, it really depends on it really depends on the plan of the player. So, mm-hmm. if the team is really coordinated, um, then we could see a, a more exciting game. Yeah. Because basically, if if you're if you're uh, vitamin C, you want to hit level six and then try to get a couple of team fights in. I think that it's going to be tough for them to close out the game fast enough. Um. So, so I do think that Guts has a pretty big advantage in this, mm-hmm. just from a just from like a pure game state kind of thing. Um, it doesn't mean that they they're going to play it correctly because if if you mess up in in the early game, and this goes for anybody, even professional teams, you can see games just get out of control. If if you're a team like Guts and you lose level one, you take too much poke early. If uh, Archer Boy gets hit by Leona and Leona. Leona, did I say Leona and Leona? Yeah. Leona and <laughs> WTF two Leonas. Uh, from way back. Yeah. What does the chat think? Who does the chat think is going to win? I I know that Will is going to say. Will's going to agree with me because Will is a smart boy. Right. <laughs> you don't sound convinced. I'm very, very convinced. Um, I, was, I would just say that I feel like um, it does seem a bit like, oh, my brain just broke. I guess I'm also not smart. Um, it feels like regardless of which team is going to win, I feel like they'll both just be running at bot lane because the other lanes don't feel super gankable. Yeah. I mean, at the same time, it's it's going to be tough to gank bot lane if um, just it's just going to be tough to gank bot lane because mm-hmm. that wave is already going to be shoved towards them. So unless they get the wave state into a bad spot where they can try to freeze them, yeah, that's fair. And again, that takes more coordination, more difficult to pull off in in um, a spot where you're not really like a used to playing with one another. Mm-hmm. Especially because the top laner for Guts is a sub today. Um, so it'll be interesting yeah. to see how that works out. I think they were pretty fortunate with how this matchup turned out in the top lane. Uh, I Let's see. So in the top lane, a quick did they go trade. sorcery? Yeah, so they have mana flow band. Uh, Malphite's just going to try to get that stacked up pretty fast, and then they won't have any mana problems for the rest of the game. Nothing really happened level 1 other than just a wet noodle fight in the top lane. <laughs> the best kind of fight. <laughs> um, it's funny. Am- Amumu, I don't know if this is true or not, but I would assume that Amumu has a better win rate on red side because you get the bot lane leash onto the blue buff. Uh it's a feels bad situation. If you're blue side of Mumu, you have to start top get a leash from your jungler or from your top laner. Because as Lance can tell you, I am not a reliable leasher when I'm in the top lane. Oh, I see. Big sad. Big sad. Sag, as they yes, say. Exactly. The kids. Yeah. Looks like nothing's really happening anywhere. Just quick. I think that we should probably side. we should probably watch the mid lane. The mid lane? Yeah, as much as possible. Cause I, I do want to see how this okay, so Min got the early level advantage and the late the wave priority. Mm-hmm. Ramus is going for a full clear bot side, Amumu is going for a full clear. It's it's better for the Amumu to go for a full clear, I think. Um 
it's it's just a little bit easier. Like they're going to end up in a more natural position uh, on the top side of the map. Uh, okay. Another thing that we should mention, I guarantee you <sighs> that Min fights for this rift uh, for the scuttle, one hundred percent guaranteed. I mean, it makes sense. Min did go ahead and put a deep uh, award um, deep into um, Guts Jungle, so I imagine he really would like to fight around there. Oh, Ram yeah, is coming in um, for a quick gank. Um, that's Min good. just used out. the W. Exactly. That's that's one of the only ways that you can um, you can be ganked as LeBlanc. So that was probably set up. They had an idea that they wanted to try something like that. It looks like they're going to trade Scuttles. Mm, nothing's really happening top lane. The yeah. Scion wasn't a good in a good spot right there, but they took a really bad trade into the Malphite. Mm -hmm. Um... Yeah. Can't say I'm shocked. <laughs> I was gonna say like, a big shout out to Audrey for the great Ramus gank though. Um, <laughs> yeah. And that's what you need to do. You, uh, they blue flash, it's gonna be a return gank. Mm -hmm. Also opens up more options for the Ramus. Looks um, like a moon was going top lane. Oh, looks like the hits the might have to talks. flash. Unbelievable. Oh. The Amumu mechanics. The mechanical genius. Imagine playing a Moomoo when you're not Turtle Wizard. Honestly. <laughs> we got a Resident Sleeper game going on right now. Yeah. LCK, is that you? Um, yeah, so far, no real advantages anywhere, except um, Ramus. Oh, Ramus found a Moomoo in the jungle, bought one in for a quick trade. Um, but nothing's super. This, this is the problem with, with how the bot lane is set up. It's like, yes, Ezreal and Yumi are going to be engaged on a bunch of times by the Leona, but are they going to be able to do anything when she engages? It's it's gonna be <laughs> tough to really force them out of lane. This Scion is in a very precarious situation. Mm -hmm. Both um both junglers hovering over mid though. Doesn't look like Scion. Uh, we'll be getting any help. Yep. Still farm simulator. Basically, I think that the the one trade that Scion took top lane really hurt the lane because they should have had a health advantage. They should have had the wave shoving for the most part. Mm -hmm. um, they, they just didn't really manipulate the wave the right way. So that's going to be an issue for... A, it's going to be an issue until they can get it back off. Um... Yeah. We will probably get an explosive team fight around a dragon or some kind of mid roam. And that's what I was going to say about Min. Min is very good at roaming and playing for the team. That's one of the things that they pride themselves on. <laughs> yeah, I'll be, I'll be excited to see um, what they do once they both hit level 6 and they get a chance to roam a little bit more. Um, yeah. I do want to say that although we said that um, Jin Leona would have priority, um, Israel actually has a CS advantage, which is interesting to see. Yeah, like I said before, Chris is a good player. Um, <laughs> I, th I think they're most likely just the better AD carry. Like, uh, I don't think he, I don't think he played Ezreal last night. I think he played Jin two games. Uh, Jin's a horrible champion, and <laughs> Vayne. Um, in this spot, he's going to be more of a carry, so it'll be interesting to see what they can do. It's funny banning out something like Vayne, because even even after banning out Vayne, they they have a better early game matchup, but they haven't really done anything to take advantage of it. Um, yeah. You really want to see this turn into a dragon or two if you are the red team. Oh, but a really great step onto the Yumi. Looks like she might actually go down here. Nice, a first blood to the ash. And that's exactly what you needed if you're vitamin C. That's a that's a pretty huge play. Mm -hmm. uh, it's only a couple hundred gold, but th this will probably turn into a dragon as well. Yeah, the timing was really perfect on that. It's really unfortunate that, um, that Yumi got caught there. Yeah. Um, so... What do you think about um what kind of gold lead do you think the red team needs to feel comfortable 
with not getting outscaled. Honestly, I know zero things about gold leads. Um, I honestly just feel like you can always throw whatever um, based <laughs> on my own team's games. Um, but Amumu, is, Amumu went Amumu. for an invade and is getting attacked by the Ramus. Uh, Amumu has a level 6 though, so they weren't really that afraid. Why I'm, they... I'm positive that Min Min's comms right now, it's probably Min shot calling and telling everyone what to do. <laughs> and I don't mean that in a negative way. Min's, Min's able to do stuff like that. Yeah. I'm kind of curious why, um, I guess if you say like Min shot calling, why they didn't decide to go for a dragon there. Yeah, it, maybe it was a too risky of a of a spot. I think that Scion's going in for oh. a trade onto the Malphite, misses his ultimate, gets uh, rock hearted in the top lane. Yeah, rock solid. Oh, mid solo kill to LeBlanc in the mid lane. Is this what they call mid diff? We were baited into going top lane. Min Min is um pretty versatile in the roles that they play. Uh, the first time I saw Min play was like probably three or four years ago, and they were a mid laner at that point. Ash missed an arrow in the bot lane. Yeah. Unlucky. A nice E from the Ezreal there. Also, I don't think I've seen Ezreal miss like a single Q. Um, truly tragic for Vitamin C's bot lane. This is some uh, some next. I I'm watching the trade back uh, on the replay on Twitch, and uh -huh. that is. <laughs> That is quite funny to watch. Yeah. They're just slapping each other for about five minutes. Yeah, top lane, though. So. Lance really... looking for a roam into the bot lane. Yeah. Actually, and really... nothing happens. Mm -hmm. I don't know how Leona made it out there, because I really thought... Um, I guess that they probably should have engaged on the Ash, because um, she kind of just got a free pass out of that. But either way, turret play plating will be going to Guts bot lane. Yeah, so so right now it's a 1.3k gold lead. It was up as high as like 1.7, 1.8. In general, in, in like a professional match, once you hit the 2,000 gold point uh, in the mid game, you should be able to convert that into a win, unless the draft went like significantly towards the the other team. Mm -hmm. um, but but like you said earlier, in this kind of match, there is no lead that is safe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, so, so that's that really makes it feel to me like. Uh, Guts has a big advantage because eventually they're going to hit certain item spikes that just make their champions insane. Ash was one of those champions before they uh, changed her passive back because uh, she was going Ginsu's and getting like double damage was pretty insane. Oh yeah, I heard about that. She needed a hotfix, right? Yeah. So in the top lane, we have a 10 CS lead for the Malphite. They're both building Cinder Hulk. Ramus and Amumu are both building some kind of cinder, or not cinder hulk um bomby cinder yeah so they're going to get one of the new tank items the new tank mythics are really good mm -hmm. have you seen the um, video of five people with bombies taking down baron without touching it no <laughs> that's so funny i strongly recommend it was actually a really <laughs> fast take too um malphite i'm surprised malphite didn't go in for that yeah i think probably could have gotten the kill yeah Silent definitely has been losing out this whole time. Um, so it looks like top jungle has really been going on the side of vitamin C. Yeah, I think you can really trace it back to that one really bad trade that, that the Scion took. Mm -hmm. um, and it, I'm not saying like the decision to trade was bad. I just think the execution wasn't there because they they had enough minions to, to, win, that, um, to win that trade. Scion yeah. had to go back to base. TP's top lane. Amumu picks up the first dragon, hopefully. Yeah, unless you make it with get a spicy Q. Out. Yeah, so for for everyone watching, you really want to pull the dragon away from the back of the pit because if you if you're kiting not kiting it, but if you're killing it outside of the uh, outside of the pit, even if they drop a ward, they might not get vision onto the dragon itself. Oh. Uh, in the top lane, Malphite's trading again. Ramus coming, coming in, in for, for the gank. Gig. Oh, but Malphite ults out. Rock solid. Uh, rock Not hard. a problem. My bad. Rock hard. Rock hard. Rock hard. Uh, rock hard. It, is, it is rock solid. You're correct. But as someone who's played hundreds of Malphite games, everybody knows that it's really rock hard. Okay. You learn something new every day. Oh, a nice Ash ult onto the Ezreal. A good Leona ult. Yumi ult comes out, but looks like Ezreal will be going down anyway. Um, Ash is almost traded Ooh. over... Um, 
Whoa. What is happening? What the? What is happening? <laughs> a Moomoo just bandage tossed to a minion. Ulted no one. <laughs> <laughs> we don't talk about that part. I just did. I just talked about that. Okay, now that you talked about it, we ignore it. <laughs> yeah, maybe forever. Yeah. Overall, so now we have 2,000 gold. Mm -hmm. Overall, a really good gank from the Moomoo, though. That they took advantage of the fact that Ezreal was very pushed up, and even though Ezreal does have a 20 CS lead on Ash, um, I feel like that definitely helped Ash with this lane. Yeah, this is a spot where Guts is probably saying, we scale, we scale. Don't <laughs> worry, we scale. And I think I have to agree. Yeah. I guess like in order for um, Guts to win, who, who would you say they really want the gold on? Ezreal. I think Ezreal is going to be able to carry this in the late game. Uh, like I said, I think I think Chris is pretty good. So we'll see if they can get it, quote unquote, get it together. The PG version of what I want to say. Uh, they're looking for a gank in the mid lane again. Probably nothing's going to happen. I think, yeah. oh, honestly... Oh, nice stun onto LeBlanc. Um, wow. Good trade by Lance. Really great damage there. Looks like LeBlanc will have to back with that, too. It's funny. I was going to say, like, having the blow flash early was probably one of the best things that could happen to Min in this lane because they'll be more um, patient with their W. Uh, and then they were ganked quite easily. <laughs> I guess what, another moment when you play yourself. The more wet noodle fighting in the top lane. Um, so it does look like Malphite has been winning these. So even though we have, even though we have two kills on the Ash, Ezreal is even in gold right now, and Ash has a bounty. So I I would assume that Ash dies at some point in this game, and that would kind of just flip the lane in the bot lane. Uh, yeah. Mid lane, Min is up 500 gold. And in the jungle, Amumu is up 1200 gold. So Amumu is doing a really good job right now of farming. Uh, even though they completely whiffed their ultimate uh, that we're never going to talk about again. Except for next time when I talk about it. It really do be like that sometimes. Yeah. Um, yeah. But overall, uh, I mean, Vitamin C definitely still have the, has the advantage. They, three of them already have their mythic items. Um, if, you, if you look by their... If you look by blue team's blue buff, Min... Uh, I don't know if it was mid or not. Somebody placed a pink ward that is going to get a lot of vision on Ramus. Yeah, that uh, was um, in the very beginning of the game. Um, oh, <laughs> Ezreal hit by the Ash ultimate, hit by the yeah, Leona ultimate, ultimate, and Min comes in really for great the gig. win. Um, looks like Yumi will also be going down there. Um, really clean gank plus dive overall. Is it a mid diff or a min diff? The world may never know. It's probably a min diff. A min diff. It could be a mind diff. You're right. Uh, uh still three and a half thousand gold. I wouldn't feel super safe if I was the red team. Yeah, but so far I think um, Sano has had trouble with hitting his skill shots onto the Malphite, which is really unfortunate. Um, but definitely can relate to that. Oh no, and. Oh. And rock hard, rock yep. hard, flash, rock yep. hard, rock hard, oh. rock hard, exclamation point XD. Any Ramis. chance Malphite goes down to the Ramus here? Uh, that's going to be a no for me, dog. <laughs> the level eight Ramus. Yeah. So like I said, like I said before the game started, um, just because you're in an advantageous matchup doesn't mean that you're going to win the lane. Uh, you ha you still have to play it right, and that's why we play the games. You can you can draft diff and still lose. Mm -hmm. uh, so it looks like the second dragon's going to go over, and this is going to be a very important part of the game as well. Once you hit the third dragon, uh, it's that's really the most difficult thing to overcome. Another Ramus gank um, in the mid lane, but LeBlanc makes it out pretty easily. Um, a move comes. Barely misses the the accidental dodge. The accidental <laughs> dodge by Ramus. Fantastic. Min is looking for their blue buff. Of course. This is a pick situation. 
Yeah, looks like uh, Rambus and Scion are both nearby too. Um, Now fight's coming down as well, oh. so it's a 3v2 right now. Looks like Ramus will be Ramus down here. Ramus is dead. Ooh, and Amumu hits an ultimate. Well, Amumu flashed. I think it was dead before the ult, right? What a time to be alive. Oh, a uh, nice Min stun. Min probably would have been able to pick it up. Yeah. A nice stun onto the Ezreal, but the quick teleport means that nothing else will be happening. Oh, except perhaps the death of Leona. Nice TP gank by Lance. Uh, Malphite TPs into the bot lane. I don't think they're going to be able to do anything here, really. Yeah. Uh, probably just a waste. Yeah. Either way, um, Vitamin C still gets a Rift Herald. So I guess it doesn't really matter. Um, yeah, but you, you never want to waste a summoner spell like that. Uh, it looks like they're going to try to turn it into a roam mid. A really great trade from LeBlanc means that um, Silas blows his flash, too. So it'll be interesting to see what, see what they do with that. Scion, I'm surprised that Scion is going, uh, like, heavy tank. It's probably not the way to go. Well, can Scion build anything else comp. besides tank? Uh, I mean, there are a lot of Scion players who just, like, go into physical damage and then just try to assassinate the backline. There's, I think Scion has something they can do with what that uh, assassin mythic item. Where they can use it while they're dead. Oh, is it the their, like, Prowler passive? thing? Yeah. I played against a Scion support that did that, and it was honestly terrifying. <laughs> terrifyingly good or terrifyingly bad? Terrifyingly good. Um, so maybe there that would have been the move, considering um, the time Stolen Avocado is having in lane. Yeah, because, like, it's... And it, ju it just comes back to, was it the right pick um, in the draft phase? I would say probably not. Looks like this will be a fight in the bot lane. A minute went in for a pick, but a great bandage uh -oh. from Mumu. Oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god. I don't know if Lance meant to take the ultimate from LeBlanc there. Uh, so this, I mean, I was wrong. I think that we're getting to a spot oh. where this lead is probably unthrowable. Oh. And cast a curse. Yeah. There you go. I was just trying to make it a more interesting match. Min will really come back to fight you for that one. Um, Lee <laughs> almost made it out. Oh, uh, Amuma comes in for the all um, trades back um, the Ezreal for that, which is definitely really good for vitamin C. But can the avocado steal Amumu's life? It does look like that will be happening. Um, Amumu doesn't have flash, so unless... Oh, oh. the Blast going out? Oh. The Jukes? Oh, wow, they didn't flash for it. The best Amumu in NA... Sag. Sorry, you can be second best. I have to support Turtle Wizard here. Oh. So let's take a look at some of the items that are being built right now. So we have Malphite and Amumu both have their mythic items finished. They both went for Sunfires. Um, Sunfire is not... It's the, hybrid, it's the hybrid one. In this spot, you probably just should go Chem Tank if you're focusing on the on the uh, resistances themselves, mm -hmm. Scion's getting caught out. Oh, but Ramus this could is be bad. Ramus is Ramus is not tanky at Ramus all right now. Severely tanky. under level. Oh, Mumu Mumu. Gets him. Oh, a nice ult um, from the Malphite means that Wild Owl will also be going down. If you're a Mumu and you miss uh, fifty percent of your ultimates, it doesn't matter as long as you hit bandage tosses. Uh, this is true. A nice bandage toss by the Wizard of Turtles. Honestly, I like really, turtles. Turtles are cute. Yeah, but that pick means that um, Vitamin C gets Baron, and they even throw out the Rift Herald, I think, right before I timed out. And yeah, I think they're really winning this overall. Also, I think it's funny that Simon was the one that got caught out in the beginning, but he was the only one that made it out. Hi, person yeah. who says hi, Ariel, in the Twitch chat as well so malphite has sunfire plus force of nature so i guess that makes the sunfire purchase a little bit better um personally i'd be going for ap because i am a greedy greedy person <laughs> i mean greed is the only way to play um yes, looks true. like vitamin c is not there but 
the alt chain means they make it just in time. Um, Yikes. Wow. Wait, I think Silas just used a uh, Mumu ult, but it didn't make a difference. Still died. Um, Yumi is taken down. Ezreal is going down as well. An ace for vitamin C. <laughs> what the so, heck? I don't know how this game got so out of hand. I think uh, Amumu has done a pretty good job overall, even though they missed some of their skill shots in the early game. But they were able to put a lot more pressure on the map while also farming better than the Ramus. I'm pretty sure Amumu um, hasn't missed like a single bandage toss. Like We don't talk about the ults. The bandage tosses have all been really good. Um, true. Also, And uh, Amumu's at a really strong point right now. Sunfire mm -hmm. plus Demonic Embrace. Yeah. Also, that last fight, the CC chain was actually disgusting. Um, like, Team Guts really couldn't get out of that one. Yeah, I guess if you're Team Guts, how do you get out of this? Uh, you press enter, then you <laughs> press the slash button, and then you press the F button twice, and then you press enter, and then you're out. Sounds That's definitely like the most efficient way. Definitely the most efficient way to get out of this game. Uh, in terms of a comeback, really what you need to happen is for Vitamin C to overcommit to like an inhib tower, get mm -hmm. aced around the time that Baron or Dragon is coming up, get the Dragon, start equalizing the number of towers that are on the map. Like You'd get a couple thousand gold from towers, you'd get 2,000 gold from Baron, you'd get some shutdown gold. Uh, that's that's really the only way. So from bounties alone, it's like sixteen fifty, uh, four towers. So that's probably like thirty five hundred, and then the baron that's fifty five hundred. I'm not sure what the gold difference is right now though. It's probably more than that because of the CS dif differential. Mm -hmm. Just like thirty CS right lead now. in the top lane, oh. fifty in the jungle. Stolen actual misses. Um, yeah. Other. Yeah, other actual Ash also misses. Um, but good banish toss, toss from Amumu. Um, looks like Silent might be going down here. Just kidding. Oh, nice Malphite ult does mean that both Ram Ramus and Scion will be dying. Um, a great dive from Vitamin C. Dang, that was so clean. Yeah, this is a, this is a tragic situation for Ramus. When you are Ramus and you're not tanky, you are just free money. Yeah. For the other team. Great Mumu ult there. Um, is that GG? It might be. One thing to take away from this game is it's always it always feels better to be on the side with a lot of engage tools because you have a bunch of go buttons where you can actually do something. Mm -hmm. um, the Guts' composition was definitely more difficult to execute, and like I said uh, before the game started, um, just because you can outscale doesn't mean that you're necessarily going to outscale. Um, I am kind of shocked that it exploded the way that it did, though. I did not anticipate that. Yeah, I feel like Amumu just got a lot of money from um, like early ganks and different lanes to just use that to really leverage onto the other lanes and get them ahead. Yeah. yeah. CS advantage is everywhere except for bot lane, though, for vitamin C. So definitely has not been a good time for Team Guts. And even there, it's really close when you can when you take the uh, Leona into consideration. Ah, uh, yeah, good point. <laughs> Min Min's team, vitamin C, they had a midnight practice session yesterday and it appears to pay off for them yeah. the cramming before a test always works out well a nice ash all onto the yumi <laughs> um looks like even though ezreal is there um she still can't make it the you and me tragedy has struck the rift once again dragons coming up pretty soon that's going to be the next objective. They're probably going to look for a pick. So this is really where Min's going to be able to shine, is looking for somebody trying to walk towards the dragon to get vision. And this is also why it's really nice to have um, a lot of engage options on your team. Mm -hmm. So earlier in the game, when, when they were taking the second dragon, I said, like, the third one's really the important one. And this is why. When you get to the fourth dragon, 
and you have a big gold disadvantage, and you know that giving up the fourth dragon means uh, dragon soul, mm -hmm. you feel doomed because you can't walk at them and fight them. You don't really have great engage tools um, outside of the Ramus. Ramus is going to get popped by anybody on the other team. So you you don't really have the easy engage that you should probably have at this point in the game. Uh, Scion engage is pretty unreliable with his ultimate. Um, and if you're Ramus without flash, that's that's a pretty tough spot as well. It looks like they're walking towards the dragon. They're not really going to be able to, to do anything about this. So that goes over for free. They're going to do the same thing around Baron. Uh, they're just getting bled out right now. Yeah. It really sucks to be Guts right now, because I just feel like it's so scary to be in the enemy, your own jungle. Um, oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. And that's the thing. You, like Some people may watch this game and think, you know, it's because these players are not like pro players or whatever. But you see these kinds of games happen in in the pro scene as well. Those early game mistakes can be gigantic. IG SKT as well. at MSI. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, I mean, you see some in, in, insane games in the LCK as well, where the early game just explodes for one reason or another. Uh, more so in the LPL, but still. Yeah. Uh, hello, chat. I was called out for not replying. Um, but yeah, Min goes in for some quick poke. Does actually kind of a lot of damage onto Silas. I feel like this is the toxic LeBlanc I see in my low elo games that just smurfs on everyone. Um, uh, yeah, that's Min. Oh. The final engage. Ish. It's really just a formality. Yeah. Another bandage stopped by the Amumu. Oh, looks like... The ultimate lands. They are uh, kind of feeding right now, though. That's true. They they went a little bit hype, but looks like they'll yeah. still be living here, and it looks like it will be game. Damn. Yeah, that was the one shot that Ezreal had to try yeah. to bring this game back, I think. Mm -hmm. And it's gone now. Yeah. It did get Amumu, though. Um, but GG. Unlucky. Dang. <laughs> stomp. What a stomp. And this is the biggest stomp we've seen so far at this tournament. Um. Yeah. I have not seen all the games, <laughs> but this one felt different. It really hit diff. Yeah. Well, shout out to everyone for um, watching our stream. Thanks for coming. Um, I hope to see you guys at some of our other games um, next week.